In this video, we're going to learn what happens when we have an exponent in the denominator that's larger than the exponent in the numerator. We end up, in this case, with a negative exponent when we reduce the common bases. Let's try working out this problem to see what will happen. In this problem, or expression, we have a to the third over a to the fifth. And I can rewrite that as a multiplied to itself three times all over a multiplied to itself five times. When we reduce out the common factors, we end up with just one in the numerator because one divided by one sorry, a divided by a would be 1, and a divided by a again would be 1, and likewise with a divided by a the third time. So we have 1 times 1 times 1, which is just 1, over a to the second. When we end up with an exponent in the denominator, and we don't want to write it as a fraction, we have to figure out how we're going to talk about that exponent in the denominator without writing it as a fraction. And this is where the negative exponents come in. We could rewrite the same fraction with the exponent in the denominator as a to the negative 2. The negative telling you that this a to the second is actually in the denominator, but we don't want to write it as a fraction at this point. And so then we simplify it to that. If we do, if we do want to write it as a fraction, or we're asked to write it as a fraction, then we would just leave it in this form right here. Let's look at this a different way. We still have a to the third over a to the fifth, but remember from past videos, we subtract the value in the denominator from the value in the numerator. And remember, we're talking about exponents here. And if we simplify that, we get a to the negative two, which is again what we got in the first way of solving it, it just took a longer amount of time. Alright, so here are the rules for negative exponents. If you have a to some negative exponent, it's the same as 1 over a to that positive exponent. And likewise, if you have 1 over a to a negative exponent, or a fraction with the exponent in the denominator, you could rewrite that as a to the positive exponent, or a to the m. And you wouldn't have to write it with a denominator. Notice the denominator would just be 1, but when it is just 1, we don't write it as a fraction. And lastly, if we have a negative exponent outside parentheses, we distribute that exponent to each exponent inside parentheses in both the numerator and denominator. And we end up with a to the negative m over b to the negative m. When we do this, Notice we could rewrite those as positives by bringing this to the numerator and this to the denominator. So we can rewrite this as b to the positive m over a to the positive m. Notice I moved my bases down for a and my base up for b and changed the sign of my exponents. Now let's work some examples to see how this actually works in real life now that we've, we've used the rules. 
For example one, we need to simplify two over five a to the negative four. This is the same as two over five a to the positive four. Remember, if you have a negative exponent and you want to get rid of the negative exponent, you shift it across the fraction bar. With example two, we have a base of x, a base of y, and a base of z. y has a positive one for its exponent, even though it's kind of hard to tell simply because there's not a lot of room in between them. Let's try that. We have a value three raised to the negative one as well. So let's go ahead and rearrange them or shift them so the exponents become positive. Seven has a positive exponent, so we're gonna leave it where it is. X has a negative exponent, and so I'm going to shift that down and change it to a positive exponent. Three, again, notice three has a negative one for its exponent, so we're gonna shift it to the numerator and give it a positive one exponent. Remember, this is all multiplication. With Y, it stays in the denominator because it had a positive one for its exponent. And finally, z has a negative four exponent, and so we'll shift it up across the fraction bar and make it a positive four z. So now that we've figured out what all our multiplication is, we can just go ahead and simplify this even further. Three to the first times seven to the first is 21 z to the fourth over x to the fifth y. And notice now that I've made all my exponents positive, I rearranged it so it's in alphabetical order because that just looks nicer overall. And since none of our bases here match, we can't reduce anything, and so that's my final answer.